If you're a teacher like me and you want to learn how to use a digital whiteboard in your online lecturing and education, this video is for you. I did a presentation at the university yesterday where I showed up my, my stuff, where I, among other things, can do this one. You've seen it in my previous videos a lot, that I have this whiteboard thing going on where I can paint stuff and, and share it. In, in, in a Zoom meeting or a Teams meeting or whatever. This is like a webcam, the, the setup that I'm using here. I can use it in Teams or Zoom or YouTube or Facebook or what, any type of application where you have a web camera. And I've been also using this with my students when I'm doing university courses. So what kind of equipment do you need to do this quick shifting between a whiteboard and, and the camera? Because uh, as I've noticed when I migrated more and more towards online lecturing that a whiteboard is very, very useful as a teacher. And I'm going to show you not the cheapest way by any means, but if you want a really good way of doing it with high quality, then this video is for you. If you want a budget solution, maybe you should look at some other things. But let me show you what I use here. I got the Wacom Cintiq 16. This is the one. And uh, the good thing about this one is that it is a computer screen that you can write on with this included pen. And you can just flip it around and it becomes an eraser. And then you can erase your ugly or very nice pictures if you would like to do that. And I guess I'm a bit old, old schooled when it comes to this. I like to see the stuff that I'm painting. I want to I want to see it on, on, on the screen because I think it's a lot easier. There are other options of, like this which is not a computer screen, it's just a black surface that you can paint on uh, and then you control the mi mouse pointer on your computer. So that works perfectly fine for some people. If, if you just practice I'm pretty sure that you could get it really up to up to speed too. But And it's a lot cheaper. <clears throat> this one is more expensive, but you also get the benefit of uh, another computer screen, which you can use for other stuff as well, should you find that nice. So, anyways, let's go back to the split screen view again. The Wacom Cintiq 16 is the one I'm using. And there are there might be smaller versions of this screen type thing as well, but I think this one is, is good. It's, uh, what size is it? It's a... Uh, somewhat larger than an A4 I would I would approximate it and and it's it's a good surface when you get an overview there are even larger versions of this one as well but then you r run into another problem and that is desk space is limited and you need to somewhere to to store this one when it when it's not in use which of course then brings me on to the next point here you can just use this it's got some kind of included legs here that you can and place it on your desk if, if you want to but then you have to move it around and it's a bit in the way i use a monitor arm i think that's great because with a monitor arm you can just put it where you want it comfortably and it's it's pretty solid it's no problem to to paint on it and the one it's this is not the one that i'm using but uh, i bought this one to my my colleague the other day ergotron lx ergotron makes very good monitor arms, very, very high quality. And I don't think, uh, I think you might get run into problems if you go and grab one of those cheap arms because you need some arm that has some good adjustment abilities. Like you can see in this picture here that you, you can lower it and you put it in this position that I have it now and that it's got several joints so you can, when you're done, you just pull it to the side. It's not in the way and it eats up almost zero screen space except for this little clamp mount that you put on, on your desk. So this is a really really good arm that that I would recommend. Uh, and uh, it might be an issue with the arms that you should, you should know about because th this is a standard VESA mount like a computer monitor on the back side of this Wacom. However, the tablet itself is very light and these monitor arms are typically designed to carry heavier screens and even if you then release the tension in the springs in the arm, if you have that option, chances are that the arm is still too strong, so you will get this that effect. No matter how soft you put it, it's just gonna go straight up to the sky. 
with this arm that I'm using now, it's an old one, really, really old arm. So, but I, it, I managed to set it up perfectly, so I'm, I'm satisfied. But uh, my, my colleague is using the Ergotron successfully in the same way like I do. Of course, you could get some metal weights and maybe drill and put some contraption on an arm and you could use a cheap arm. But I mean, just buy the right stuff from the beginning and you will save time. Things are only free if your time has no value. Remember that. And then, uh, let's see, what else do we need? Now we got the drawing tablet and you got the arm. And then, of course, you need an application to draw. And I'm using Microsoft Whiteboard. It does the job. No more, no less. It just <laughs> does what I need to do. And you can drop some screenshots or pictures in here as well if you want to do some painting on those. And that's that can be perfect. But... Anyway, let's move on here in the little presentation. What else do we have here? Yeah, the program, OBS Studio. There are lots of options, but this is the one I've been using because this is this is open source and I like open source programs. They're great, free. You can just use it anyway. Just download it and you're good to go. Mac, Linux, Windows, doesn't matter. And uh, in this program, you can set up different scenes like I have one scene with the full body shot I got the split screen and I got the whiteboard and I got some if I want to do full screen of the presentation I can do that and I yeah you can add many many scenes in in this program and and then it, it's a bit of a challenge to set it up when you're starting out but there's great YouTube material on this to help you out on how to set up OBS it's a very common program, so it's not a problem. You can also use it for sc screen capture if you want to do that kind of stuff, uh, besides uh, using it in, in Zoom or Teams meeting and so. But when you look here at the, there's a little button here, start virtual camera. And that's what I've been using when I've been uh, using uh, this uh, multi-camera thing that's going on in Teams or Zoom. I use the virtual camera feature, which is perfect. I really like it. OBS Studio. Now we got the application covered, but then I also had this little thing, the Stream Deck, Elgato Stream Deck. It's a, it's a little device which I have found very useful. It's a programmable little matrix of buttons, three and five rows. There are different sizes depending on how many buttons you want. This is like the mid size and it's it's pretty good for my use. And then you can see that when, when I push a button now, when I do split screen, the active, I have different camera views here and the one that is active lights up here so I can see which one is, is going out and that is a very good feature. And uh, with this one, there's so many plugins and stuff with this. You, you can you can use it for, you can even control the, the lighting in your room if you want to turn on the lights and then increase them strongly. So you, you, you can do, do pretty much whatever you want with this little device. I love it. It's really good. And uh, then you don't have to fiddle about with, the, with balance and clicking inside the application. You just use the Stream Deck and you're good to go. So it's a really good one. Elgato.com. So check that one out. And that, that's it. I'm, I'm not going to talk about any more of my stuff now. That's uh, the, what you need to do the, uh, the digital whiteboard in a really fast way. Because when you're using a setup like this, you don't have to fiddle about with screen sharing. You just click a button and you can, bam, you got it up. You want to show the whiteboard quickly and then you want to go back to this view. You cannot do that with screen sharing. It's too slow. You have to click and choose which screen and then maybe you click the wrong screen and oh, it's a mess. <laughs> Anyways, in today's video, I'm wearing a blue linen shirt and summer is here. It's very warm and uh, it's very war warm in here because I have bad ventilation. And then linen is a fantastic fabric in summer months because you, the wind goes straight through it. It does, however, wrinkle quite a lot, but you have to live with that. But it's a perfect summer fabric, summer garment. So get a linen shirt that they, they are great in this climate. See you later.